Hello, this is Nessa Tilson here. You're here in my workshop. And this is a video just to show you our last job that's just coming out of our workshop here, which is in fact these wreathed handrails. We have here um, two wreathed handrails here. We have here a quarter turn wreathed handrail made in laminated walnut. And we have here a half turn wreathed handrail made in laminated walnut. The actual project is in fact just these two wreath sections plus these straight sections here. These handrails have been made using our laminated sections technique, which is a technique that we have set up, specially developed for making handrails, wreathed handrails that follow metallic rails. This technique, although it's been set up specifically for doing that, is also pretty neat and pretty useful for setting up a wreathed handrail, even on any staircase, especially if your wreathed handrail has to have a mold on it, molded. It has a specific section. The technique is in fact made of, we make these little, little bits of wood here, which are just little squares of wood, and that are joined together with some metallic, um, some, 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 some wire. We've got some metallic wire here, aluminium wire. And this gives us a sort of a snaky shape here, which we can actually move it, you know, manually give the shape of the reef. Either we put this particular piece on a metallic rail or it can be fixed on an existing stair and we can give it a, you know, manually give it a shape and then we inject into this part polyurethane glue. And we've found some good polyurethane glue that we can use which will actually expand and pull the actual shape, make, make it really fix it tight and as well as stay very rigid once we've taken it, once the glue is set, the shape will actually stay very rigid. And then we can glue veneer onto, this, onto the shape to make up the actual basic form of the handrail. So this technique is a pretty neat technique for making reefed handrails. You don't have to do any complicated um, geometrical calculations or marking out. You don't need a tangent system. You don't need to make a mold like you would if you're using traditional laminates. And there is a very good um, advantage as well, is that once you've made the handrail using this technique, the actual, the actual section of the handrail, when you're at perpendicular to the slopes, is always at 90 degrees. So molding is very easy as well, much easier than if you're trying to build a handrail using traditional uh, tangent techniques or uh, if you're using traditional laminated techniques where you will find that the real right angled uh, section, that is when you take a section perpendicular to the, to the handrail, is not square and it becomes very difficult to actually put it through a spindle molder and mold it. So this is our, this is our rails, this is our quarter turn rail here. It's come out very nice. Nice bit of worn up, nice twisted shapes. And this is our half turn rail as well, which is very nice shape. If you want more information on how to build these rails, you go to our website, um, wooddesigner.org. And if you want us to build you your rails, we will be setting up our website and uh, you can actually order, us, order from us these handrails if you want to. Thank you very much for looking. Um, see you soon, goodbye.